Are you a Formula One fan? Would you like to know recent updates about last year's championship? Did you know that Red Bull was said to have cheated by breaching the FIA cost cap? Would you like to see how the FIA reacted to this? Finally, did you know that Red Bull has signed Max Verstappen? If you do not know the answers to these questions, then this video is right just for you. Watch until the end as we will discuss all these in detail. First up, let's explore. What is the FIA cost cap? The cost cap is a tool that restricts how much money a Formula One team can spend in a given year. The amount of money a team spends affects how well a race car performs. The FIA has finally released their much anticipated cost cap review for the 2021 season. And it's bad news for Red Bull, who were found to have violated the sports financial regulations last year. Aston Martin was also found to break the rules. Formula One has struggled with significant disparities in team spending power throughout its history, like any other sport. As a result, the FIA announced in 2021 that they would implement a new cost cap in the sport, a budget that teams must adhere to or face punishment if they do not. Simply put, the newly implemented cost cap exists to make the sport more sustainable, balanced, and competitive. While it won't completely close the gap between the top teams like Red Bull, Ferrari, and Mercedes, and the lower teams like Haas and Williams, it should make dominance by a single unit in the sport much more difficult. So how much is the FIA cost cap? The 2021 F1 cap was set at $145 million, a relatively low sum considering that the sport's most prominent teams reportedly spend close to $400 million. That $145 million was also a significant decrease from the original plan to set the cap at $175 million in 2021, a figure drastically reduced due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, which put several teams on the verge of financial ruin. This season's budget was initially reduced to $140 million, but it has been adjusted accordingly due to global inflation and price increases. In addition, the number of races on the sports calendar and the additional sprint races throughout the season increased the cap. As a result, the cost cap in F1 for 2023 is currently set at $135 million. Still, given inflation related to global events and the inclusion of additional races that have already been announced for next season, the budget is likely to increase in correlation. Now let's explore what did McLaren boss Zach Brown have to say regarding the breach. McLaren's CEO Zach Brown's sensational accusations against Red Bull and their recent championship title have been revealed in a leaked letter. Brown stated un unequivocally in the letter to Formula One's governing body, the FIA, that he believed Red Bull should be severely punished for their breach of the cost cap in 2021, according to The Sun. The overspend violation and possibly the procedural violations constitute cheating by providing a significant advantage across technical, sporting, and financial regulations, he said. We were even given a one-year dress rehearsal in 2020 with plenty of time to seek clarification if any details were unclear. As a result, there is no reason for any team to claim surprise. The bottom line is that any team that is overspent has gained an unfair advantage in current and future car development. Brown also stated that spending an extra 1.76 million pounds, 3.18 million Australian dollars, can result in a 50% improvement in a car's performance over the season. Before the ruling's announcement, Lewis Hamilton revealed the considerable difference even one upgrade can make on the car, casting even more doubt on Verstappen. Stoppin's first championship victory. Next, what is the FIA's reaction to this? The FIA released their findings from the financial audit of F1 teams for the 2021 season last week. They discovered that Red Bull had exceeded the 114 million pound, 205 million Australian dollars budget cap. They stated that they are currently determining the appropriate course of action. Despite Christian Horner's confident claims that they had done nothing wrong, the breach is deemed a minor overspend, meaning it falls within 5% of the 114 million pound budget. However, the transgression only resulted in a minor violation of the rules, implying that the potential punishment would be light, preserving Max Verstappen's maiden title. The FIA proposed to Red Bull terms of an accepted breach agreement. If Red Bull accepts the offer, the details of which are confidential, they will admit wrongdoing for cost cap breach but face less severe punishment. Keep watching along closely. We'll tell you everything you need to know about why Red Bull signed Max 
Thanks for stopping. We're sure you won't want to miss out on this. Now let's find out. What does the Red Bull team have to say? Red Bull's F1 competitors have made their feelings about their wrongdoing clear. Verstappen, who arrives in Austin as a double world champion after winning the Japanese GP in 2022, fired back on Thursday, I believe it's primarily because we're doing well. He explained, they do everything they can to slow us down. That's how Formula One works. Everyone's a little hypocritical at the end of the day. All we have to do is concentrate on our work. Nothing has been confirmed yet, Verstappen added. But as a team, we know what we have to deal with, and we are very clear about what we believe is correct. Sergio Perez, another teammate, echoed his sentiments. We believe we are on track, and we believe everything will fall into place, Perez added. I will delegate that task to my team, who will work with the FIA to resolve it. But of course, teams will always want to sap your performance, especially if you are winning. It's part of the game, and it's always been that way. I believe it is a normal situation. The facts will be revealed, and people will see and comprehend the situation. Up next, why did Red Bull sign Max Verstappen? Red Bull signed Max Verstappen due to concerns that Niki Lauda would take him to Mercedes. However, when Gerhard Berger drew Mercedes and Niki Lauda's attention to Max Verstappen after his dominant run at Spa in the 2014 European Formula 3 Championship, Red Bull quickly decided to sign him. Back in 2014, Red Bull had their eye on Dutch driver Verstappen, who was promising in his first single-seater racing season. But he was far from spectacular until the Formula 3 series arrived at Spa. Driving for Van Amersfoort Racing, Verstappen won all three races at the Belgian circuit despite adverse weather conditions. It was always wet and dry, Marco explained to Auto Motor and Sport. He drove around the others in circle. He was two seconds faster than everyone else. He shifted up where the others had already braked. Red Bull was interested, but so was Mercedes, with former F1 driver Berger telling Lauda, a Mercedes non-executive director, everything he knew about the driver. Six weeks later, Red Bull made a counteroffer. We spoke with the Verstappens, but Gerhard Berger drew Lauda's attention away from Mercedes. Nicky jumped right on the cart, Marco explained. We then made him a direct offer during the race weekend in Spielberg and told him he had to make a decision quickly. So let's explore. How has Verstappen been performing since the signing? Verstappen was put in a Toro Rosso in Friday practice for that season's Japanese Grand Prix by Red Bull. And five months later, he became the youngest driver to start a Grand Prix, lining up on the 2015 Australian GP grid at the age of 17 years and 166 days. 14 months later, he was promoted to a Red Bull race seat, replacing Daniil Kvyat and winning P1 at the Spanish Grand Prix on his Red Bull debut. He became F1's youngest race winner at 18 and 228 days, one of several records he still holds. Kvyat was faster than Ricciardo in his first year at Red Bull in 2015, Marco said, recalling Red Bull's decision to drop Kvyat in favor of Verstappen. From the first day of testing in the second year, he had it in his head that there was a problem with the brakes. First, he slowed down, and then there were accidents. You suddenly felt insecure. We needed to react. At the same time, Red Bull's junior team was dealing with a growing rivalry between Verstappen and his teammate Carlos Sainz and their fathers. We had Sainz and Verstappen together, he added. It wasn't a good relationship with Toro Rosso. On the other hand, you have the astute politician Carlos Sainz Sr. And on the other, you have the emotional three-way Josh Verstappen. Sometimes things got down to business. We diffused it in one fell swoop with Max's promotion. Father Sainz was offended to death and no longer understood the world. Internally, we had to make tough decisions, even if they appeared to the outside world to be harmonious. Red Bull's determination paid off, with Verstappen clinching his second driver's championship in his many seasons at last weekend's Japanese Grand Prix. All right, that's it for today's video. Let us know if you think by them breaching the budget cap means they were really cheating. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching.